they fielded us the Artec 3D scanner. They're essentially evaluating its viability. Is, is it something that uh, is viable for us to use that will help us improve our overall readiness? And there are many things that we have to draw from scratch. So it's also something that has enhanced the soldier's skill set and they begin to learn to draft. Because a 3D printer works on a simple X, Y, Z axis, it's taught them how to essentially machine. This is additive manufacturing, whereas running a milling machine is subtractive manufacturing. But the X, Y, Z concept is still the same. So when they 3D model and draw, and we can use that same software on the mill uh, that we can on the 3D printer, it's definitely taught them an appreciation for being able to to draft and reproduce a part using several different methods. We have run into occasions where we can reproduce parts that don't have NSNs. Uh, an example is uh, there's uh, the purge kit that c &E uses to purge NVGs. There's a tiny little plastic cap that's threaded that just often gets lost. There's no stop uh, on it to keep soldiers from removing it even by accident. So sometimes it gets removed and lost and they can't order it. They would have to reorder the entire purge kit to replace it. I take pride and um, obviously some a little bit of fear in you know, every part I make because anything that I make could end up on something that's mission critical. You learn something every day. Our capabilities have increased so there's more equipment that we can now repair. Different types of equipment that we support, both in, in every types of equipment, NVG stuff, uh, weapon stuff, whatever the case may be. If uh, the regulation allows us to manufacture anything and repair anything for those types of equipment, do it. so, so, so many units in the Army where these soldiers go work and they never get to do their job. They don't have any equipment. They definitely have the demand, but what the units do is they find a workaround. They find an alternative, or they just order those parts, order the next highest assembly, or they order it commercial off the shelf. I've done averages before in shops to where we've saved almost over a half a million dollars. And if you take that and you multiply that with every allied trade shop in the Army, you're looking at saving millions, millions and millions of dollars annually. When you multiply that, you're looking at billions over a decade, which has a massive impact on the amount of savings that we do for our U.S. government. The, the massive increase in capabilities, the cost savings, the time savings, uh, the mobility of the equipment. So now that now we have a deployable asset that we didn't have before. Uh, so it's a deployable machine shop. can have a massive impact army-wide on overall readiness. With the equipment and the training and having this asset at your disposal, the improvement in combat readiness would be astronomical.